and welcome back to The Average, or welcome to The Average if you're new. Hey, I'm Steph. I'm average artist, just like you. Just like, <laughs> I don't know what that, sorry, that was a strange intro. Today I am gonna be coloring in these things, but you know that because you've read the uh, title, I guess. I drew these last night. Pesto, do you mind? Oh my God. Whenever I try to film, it's just anarchy. I don't understand. I drew these last night and I just wanted to color them in. I just wanted to do a spread of drawings. I see that the graphite is kind of smudged, so I'm kind of going around and just where it's smudged over the lines with my Mount Fuji rubber. I love this rubber, it's so good. Um, I also have a gold rubber. I don't know if you guys watch my shorts, but these have been on my shorts because, you know, it's just fun to do, but this is <laughs> such a nice rubber. I was really surprised because I was like, mm, it's expensive. Eight euros for a single. Oh, sorry, I said rubber, but it should say eraser because different connotations um, for you guys if you're in America. But yeah, this this is a really nice eraser. It's super smooth. So I don't know why I wasn't using this instead of the Mount Fuji one, but the Mount Fuji one is just fun as well because it re slowly reveals Mount Fuji, even though this one's kind of dirty. Anyway, um, off topic completely. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I've been using these Tombow mechanical pencils as well, in case you're wondering what I sketched this with. But this is a normal one that I've been using for about five years now, because I got it from Japan pre-COVID. This is, yeah, it's a monograph mechanical pencil, Tombow. I just really like it, um, 0.5 lead. That doesn't really mean anything to me, but I know that I like it. Then I saw these Studio Shippy ones for sale, and I was like, I have to get them, because they're so pretty. Look at that, I really like the way, anyway, totally distracted, um, really like the way they feel, so. I just wanna use my alcohol markers now to color in. I'm using the new Himi alcohol markers, because they are pretty nice, and all my other alcohol markers are currently in storage. I'm gonna use this rubber to like, kind of prop up my I mean, it's a razor. So I've got coffee and we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill and chat, guys. I think it would be nice to have kind of a color scheme for these because what's happened is I sort of just wanted to do like vague vibes of like summer, but sort of creepy. This is from uh, Pretty, Pretty Things, I think it's called that movie. Pretty things? I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> so that's the only one that's not really just like a vibe, it's more like a still from a movie. Because I won't really want blues and summery colours and greens and stuff, so let's see. It would be nice to have like a pink. Just gonna use this and maybe like a purple to shade stuff. So these are like the basic colours I'm gonna use, so I'm just gonna get started. I'm quite excited to colour this in because it was really nice just sketching out stuff and then knowing that I was just gonna use colours over the top. I might uh, go in with a colour pencil afterwards, just to like, you know, really just ramp up this party. I think I want like a shade colour. Uh, V2 is quite light, not too dark. This is why it's in my sketchbook, I guess. I think it gives the impression of shadow though, so that's kind of what I want. A bit too dark there. Kind of works, but it looks a bit weird, so I'm gonna use the pencils. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I kind of like how that looks. So this is all for like experimentation and uh, checking some vibes, because I really want to work on the next comic, and uh, I guess I'm just yeah, doing exploration and all that fun stuff at the moment. Because I have the story, and I even did the thumbnails last year when I was going to try and do the two comics at the same time, but now I'm just going to do all the vibes first, <laughs> and then see if I actually like those thumbnails and the way the story is, because I might need to redo some parts maybe. Who knows? Might be a fun idea too. So let's see. So I guess you could take this as sort of a mood board for the next comic and I guess if you're new here um, I basically do horror comics I've written and published three of them short indie horror comics I guess four of them actually and yeah it's been super fun super love it um, didn't know if I wanted to do another horror comic or was thinking about like branching out and doing something different maybe an adventure one or something like 
completely new to me because it would be nice to challenge myself to do something different. Thinking about doing a new comic uh, with Chris as well, we are still working on a, an idea and we think, because we're going to be at Fort Bubble, which is a massive uh, indie comics festival in Harrogate, which is near Leeds in the UK, which is like highly, highly recommended if you like uh, indie comics and illustration and games and stuff like that. It's super nice. Really enjoy it. It's like just a really great place for, to get inspiration and meet people and sell comics. It was really fun last year, so we, we, we're going to go again. Luckily, we got in. And so I'm trying to think of like, I want to get new stuff out by the time you know, I go there. So we just start thinking new comics. And yeah, so that's generally the idea. Of course, this is early stages. I say early stages. I've done a lot of like research and early stage stuff last year because obviously I wanted to publish it last year, but I instead just did the one comic and so that one's still kind of waiting in the wings, so to speak, to be made. And I think we definitely don't want to like drop it because I did so much work on it and the whole script is there. But you know when you're just like, oh, it's, it's a difficult one. I feel like it's just more challenging maybe than the other ones I've done. But I'm not sure because it is a, a haunted water park is basically the premise, <laughs> which is super fun. like. I really love the idea of that, uh, but just gotta gotta see where it goes, I guess. And it, it was set in like the 1950s, but and I know that obviously it's my imagination, so I can do whatever I want. But it has to be set in like kind of realistic terms. So would a water park be in the 1950s? I don't know. And like, what slides would have existed? Very probably very like simple simple ones so I just I need to fact check a lot of things a little bit more than um, my other comics because it's just like different stuff is in it hmm <laughs> her hair what the color should I do her hair but yeah it's been really fun to think in terms of comics again because it's been a while so it's nice to kind of get out of that and just do a little mood board inspiration board I've been doing a lot of like mini drawings, which I really enjoyed. I think those broke me out of like the rut. I don't know why, I just really enjoyed doing them and I think they turned out really nice. Drawing uh, fashion illustrations. I guess you don't really have to think about what you're doing if you're just copying like an image. And I've kind of done that here, but I'm more thinking about how to color it than anything, so. liking the way that these alcohol markers look over the top of pencils. I don't know why I've never really tried this before. I'm enjoying it. What do you guys think? Also, sometimes the detail needs a little bit of work, so I go in with coloured pencils afterwards and I think, yeah, I think it just looks cool. It's very nice, vibey, mood boardy aesthetic, I guess. What we got going on. The graphite of the pencil smudges a bit and I think that just can give like a nice effect if you like use it for your advantage. Oh, yeah, so I'm just coloring this in. I'm really finished, I guess. Um, I really enjoy when a spread just looks nice like this. And there's no need for it really, because this is a sketchbook, so you don't really need to be like, oh, I need everything to look a certain way and be beautiful and match each other but it is nice you know every now and again to think of these things sketchbook if you look at my sketchbook you'll see pages that are just rubbish like one drawing <laughs> and then pages that are just like well all the mini drawings on one page and just like a lot of effort so it's quite funny to me um the difference Let's see when flipping through that's the whole point of a sketchbook. It's supposed to be a practice, and then you can also do nicer pages if you so wish. 
what's art guys uh, thank you for coming to my channel and let me explain what art is <laughs> I don't like this drawing of Emma Stone that I'd done. I did one on a previous page, like, as practice, and I was like, oh, I really like drawing this image of her in this film, Pretty Things? Can't remember what it's called. And, um, yeah, I don't like it very much now. <laughs> Which is quite funny, because the other one I really did like, and so, well, whatever. It is, them's the breaks. I'm also just making up the colours, because I don't want to look up what they are in the movie because then they might not match my page. That's very pink. Kinda kinda fits though. Then we've got one left to do which is this scene of kind of the ocean. What's really nice is that you kind of don't have to do that much effort with the colouring because if the drawing is kind of nice it just enhances the drawing a little bit rather than needing to be like perfect kind of enjoying that uh just vibe of <laughs> just doing like rough colors it's quite fun because i guess all the hard work is already done by the drawing underneath so now i guess it would be a, like a really good way to check if colors are working in your comic or something you could just quickly layer down some imagery and then draw on top with the alcohol markers this green is not nice, but we can, maybe if I do like a blue on the roof, or is that just like making it worse? <laughs> I'm like, oh, you don't have to work too hard, um, you're doing the, the, the colours underneath and then it just doesn't work out <laughs> on this one. I do like how it kind of smudges as well, the alcohol marker, it just, I don't know why, it just kind of looks, it just fits something. I mean, I, I like how it smudges the pencil, not the alcohol marker. The alcohol marker smudges the pencil, and it kind of looks cool. But yeah, I guess that's kind of the final look of the page. Yeah, it's really nice to do. I, I really enjoy just playing with these colours, and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me colour in a page, and uh, found it relaxing, or thought-provoking, or some kind of thing. So, um, apparently, like, most of you aren't subscribed, and um, it would be really cool if you subscribed, and that's it, basically. Um, that's my pitch <laughs> to you. Thank you for watching, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye! Thank you.